Who the fluff is RA9? How have we still never have not figured that out? Maverick Fab, if you want to sign up for your boy's motivational text blast, I send them out every single day. Just text the word Maverick to the number 505-207-0407. Oh, because he can create a diversion and we can just go through. Just sneak by? ID? Be like, oh, it's okay, ma'am. You go ahead, because he's already seen the ID, so he'll forget the scan. Is she all right? Hey, you! Hey. No need to be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. All right, P. Jerry, man, you a real one. <laughs> you a real one, Jerry. <laughs> Maybe we can just like re-download Jerry somewhere else. Love Jerry, like. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry ain't nobody. <laughs> like, whatever. Uh, we got our family. Receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's. It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. She the second ever. Hmm? She the second ever or is she the president? She's the president. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Who the fluff is RA9? How have we still never have not figured that out? Amanda? Amanda? What's What's happening? 
What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. There's got to be a way. What the heck? Find a way out. Ooh. Always leave an emergency exit from our programs. So, like, to save them. So, where's the emergency exit? It's like something's lit up there. It's nothing. That blue light? Now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. <laughs> to tell them that we are people too. <gasps> In fact, we're oh a nation. Oh my gosh. It's free thing to do. We gotta get out. Push those buttons, babe! <sighs> Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We gonna have their own. They gonna have their own toaster Independence Day. We are free. Yeah. over no wow so what happens with connor that game was mother fluffing dope man that game was phenomenal i like i can't think of a game where i wanted to go back and play it right after i finished i can't think of one huh you wanna play? It was cool getting like caught up in stuff, but like now I wanna see what else. Cause there, I have so many unanswered questions. We so are they gonna make another one? I feel like they got to. And I need to know more about RA9. Like we went this whole game and never got that question answered. And please don't spoil nothing in the comments, because we might legit go back and play it. But like I wonder if there's a playthrough where you get that answer. 
Well, there has to be. Because there's other options for things. Maybe, like, talking. I don't know. Somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has the answer. Right. So if it's not in this one, then there has to be a sequel. So it's either, like, we want to know or we wait. It's deep. It's deep. Well, I wonder if this is, like, uh, if they're going to, like, tell us something at the end. Can we skip? What, like a Marvel movie? Yeah. I don't know. I think I, I need to wait to the end. But this was definitely one of my favorite games. Uh, by the time this is posted, if you haven't already checked it out, make sure you go to maverick.tv. Wife and I, wifey and I will have already started playing our Heavy Rain series. We haven't started playing it yet, but we're about to. So by the time this is live, like we pre-recorded this, so, so by the time this video goes up, we should be a few episodes deep into Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain is similar to this. It was made before this, uh, some years before this, but it's the same type of game, like story-based, decisions affect the ending, all that stuff. So make sure y'all check out maverick.tv, link in the description. What would you give this on a scale from one to 10? I don't really give tens out like that, but this has to be up there. Like, like I said, I just have never wanted to play a game again so badly. But there's very little like gameplay in it. Like, you know. I don't know. I still think that's cool though, and I, I think it's a different type of experience as far as just the thrill of gaming and being in another world. Yeah. Because it's like it's one thing to you know control the character, but the intensity, the timing and when you have to make decisions and whatnot like those are real emotions yeah it's not just graphically pretty it stimulates your mind too like what the fluff these are people right do i care yeah or are they jerry right or are they jerry i think this game deserves so many awards jeez and like seeing all this just makes you want to go back and play it like it's crazy. Right? So the the assault was successful. I feel like the ending wasn't bad because the androids got what they wanted. It was just more so in a bad way. Right? Like yeah. they killed everyone. Oh, wait. Battle for Detroit. Marcus demonstration. We didn't even see this. Oh. is this, Would this have been if we went peaceful, you think? Probably. Like, look at all this we didn't experience. But then it would have been, you know, the opposite. You know what I mean? The other one would have been empty. Well, so you know, like, that's what I'm saying. That's like, yeah. it makes us want to, like, play it again. Like, Connor's last mission. Like, we didn't do that. With a different perspective. Yeah. But with this one. Oh, see, though? Could have ended we way over the right there. decision there. Hack camera. Oh, probably if we would have tried to like fight or like if the fight went bad. Yep, or if or we if just we tried to stop or whatever. Yeah. So camera hacked, leave elevator. I'm mean, I know we could have probably just not like transferred successfully and like new Connor dies an old body. The androids woke. Like what is this? Like, if we didn't swipe consciousness or swap, like, what? This goes even deeper. Like, what? I think we did really good with uh, uh, Kara's stuff. Yeah. Only thing we might have did bad one was the stuff that you, before you got here, where I killed her dad. Well, it wasn't even her dad. Her owner. Yeah. I think we did great with her. Uh, and then it was cool that I came in when I did because I got the mom perspective. Yeah. The Alice relationship was never in jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. Steal tickets, board bus. We could have ended See, there. We did good. We had to take care of Alice. Alice is what <coughs> matters. Hold up. There was like, this one was so deep. Like, look at this. So we ended with the group cross the border. But like, look at all of that. 
Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I feel like I have to play this game again. Look at that. Kara captured. Well, if she would have sacrificed herself. But what if we could have got her free? And Jerry didn't die. I mean, it, it, yeah, I don't know. This is okay. All right. Well, this was Detroit. Love this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I wouldn't be surprised if we come back with some more stuff, whether it's another walkthrough on Maverick.tv or just going through different parts here. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Definitely appreciate y'all. We're going to continue. Make sure there's no final cutscenes. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? So you want to know what's crazy about this? So she's like the main, like, when you load up the game she's just at the main menu like where it says like continue chapter select and i just got a tweet this morning that was like every time you finish playing you should go back to the main menu you're missing like cool interactions so i guess she would like have something to say as you progress through the game oh. so we didn't really see her because we just stayed in the game and like kept going Gosh. but we could have had interactions with her so we don't really know her yeah i guess we should let her go right yeah I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Well. Oh, so you can like do the chapters like on their own. Yes, like we could go back. What are these videos? There's a Kara short movie. Debut teaser, discovering Detroit. I think these are like deep dives on like characters or something. Mm. Hmm. That stuff might actually be fun to watch. But yeah, so we could go in. Let's see how deep it is. This movie was or I said this movie. This game was deep. So I wonder if you can go within like specific points within it. Like, because like, you go to a specific decision in, in, the, in the flow chart, yeah. Like, you know how some deep, like. I think you would just have to play through it. Because yeah. it varies whether you even get to that decision or not. Yeah. If they revealed all the decision, it wouldn't be the game. True, true. So, if we wanted to do this chapter click on it and we'd start there oh but you can so that's your load checkpoint but maybe if you played played it back because like it says no checkpoint selected I feel like you might be able to select them at some point mm. which is dope for going back and playing okay all right we got to end this yeah. series so like I said we appreciate y'all for rocking with us Check out Maverick.tv. Let us know what other kind of games you guys want to see us play. And until next time, God first, God bless. Love you guys so much. Thank you for rocking with us. I know I say that all the time. I know I just said it probably in the outro of the video. I say it all the time, but it really does mean the world. And you guys are bigger than just a number to us. And that's why we do things like that text blast. So definitely sign up. It is free. Just text the word Maverick to 505-207-0407 and you will be on the list and you'll get my next text.